friends and welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, my name is Anuja Dandiker and I talk about all things sewing and fashion related. Uh, as you guys know, I make most of the patterns for my clothes myself and I figured it's high time I show you guys how to do that. So today's video will be all about how to pattern a basic bodice block, which then you can change, alter however you guys want um, for other patterns and um, for other types of patterns and other types of projects and then you get just get a little bit more understanding of what all goes into um, patterning a piece. I will say that this pattern is specifically for woven fabrics if you're using knit fabrics um, some of the structure and some of the some of the components will be a little bit different and I'll try to add um, some of those some of those tidbits of information into the tutorial as well. That is all, so before I keep rambling, let's get started. So for today's video, I will be walking through a basic bodice block. Um, so to start, I have my measurements listed out on the right, and I will be walking through um, all of the steps on how I pattern these. I usually do this on paper, not typically on Illustrator, but I thought um, Illustrator might be an easier way to uh, kind of show you what I do. Um, okay, so to start I've marked my point A. I've also drawn this black box just as my bounds and that I'll be working within. These are approximations. I might go out by a little bit, but that's perfectly alright. So, to start, I have point A. From here, I'm going to mark one half of my, whoopsies, my cross back. Um, so my cross back is 15 inches, we'll say. Um, so from point A to point B, I take one half of my cross back, which will be seven and a half inches. So I go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and halfway we'll say is right about there. Um, I will say that each one of these um, grid lines, the bolder ones, are one inch um, apart from each other. Um, now I'm just going to copy and paste that over here, and that will, is my point B. Now I need to mark how long I want my bodice to be. Um, for that, I take my shoulder to waist measurement, which is also 15 inches. Now I need to mark how wide I want this garment to be at my waist. For that, I take my waist circumference, which is 28 inches, and I divide that by 4 because we're only drawing one quarter of my um, body here. Um, so my waist circumference divided by 4 is 7 inches. I'm going to add 1 inch to that because we're going to be adding a 1 inch dart and a quarter inch of ease. So my total will then be 8.25 inches. Now from here I need to mark um, something in the middle. So that's more of the bust area. Um, I personally like to start with my bust point height. So my bust point height is 8 inches, and that will be my point D. From here, I also want to mark my armhole height. Uh, so that will be my armhole circumference, which is 15 inches, and I divide that by 2. We're only marking the front, um, so that's just one half of my armhole circumference. So that will be about seven and a half inches. Um, now from here, I need to mark how far out it goes at the bust. Since that will be, for me, it is the widest part um, of my body. If your waist is wider, that's perfectly fine. Then you make that bigger down there. Um, for bust circumference, for this, I'll take my bust circumference and go 34 inches divide that by four for eight and a half inches plus a quarter inch for ease. Um, so my total will then be 8.75 inches. Uh, so now we can kind of start connecting our dots a little bit. 
Um, so for this, I'm just going to make my lines pink. Um, now from here, from C to D, I'm just going to connect those. Um, D to F, I want to connect that. And that looks pretty good for the moment. Um, next, I like to come back to my armhole and my neckline. I like to do my bust area first. Uh, so my bust point separation is six inches. I'm going to take half of that, which will be three. So I start from point D, which is my bust point height, and go across three inches. From here, I'm going to mark my dart from my bust point uh, to draw my dart, I go one inch down because we don't want our dart going over the bust. We want it coming just up to the bust. Uh, so I take my point G, I go one inch down, make a point there, and then I go a half inch to the right. And I will do that again from the point and go a half inch to the left. That's why we added the one inch to our waist measurement because this dart is what we're going to fold on our final garment and take in um, to allow for that change between the bust and the waist area. From here, now I am going to mark my, we'll do my armhole next. Okay, for my armhole, I need to mark my cross front measurement. Um, so for that, I'm going to take one half of 14, which will be 7 inches. This is going to be point H. From here, I want to draw a line down, so I'm just going to take my guide, actually, and do that. And I'm also going to draw a guide down from the top and have it go through point F. So now I'm going to draw a nice curve from point B over to F. And when we draw that, for the front armhole, it kind of goes in a little bit more and then comes out, versus the back armhole goes straight down and then curves at the bottom. So let's see, I'm going to go from point B, and I'm going to draw a straight line down roughly two-thirds down the way. Then I'm going to go from point F, or sorry, from this point to F and connect that and draw a nice little curve there. I want to make sure that I don't go past that guide, um, either on the bottom here or this vertical perpendicular line. Oh, I did also forget we need to bring this point down. Um, by about, I need to bring that line down just about an inch because our shoulder kind of slopes. Um, so I'm going to actually bring it down an inch and a half. There we go. So now I need to mark where I want this um, drop shoulder point to reach the top, like closer to my neck area. So for this, the math is one twelfth my waist circumference. Um, so my waist circumference is 28 and one twelfth of that is about two and a third inch. And we'll say that's here. That looks quite wide. You know what, we're gonna bring this out a little bit more then. You can finick with it a little bit too if it seems um, strange and it doesn't seem to match up. That looks pretty good. Um, and this drop height, you can change that. I've found that an inch and a half works for me. Now I've drawn my shoulder. It's starting to look like a bodice. And from here, I just need to mark how deep I want my neckline to go. Four to five inches. I'm going to mark five on here. I'm going to draw that five inches down from the top. There we go. And from here, I'm going to draw a nice kind of curve. That looks really nice. Now we have a bodice front for the back. The biggest changes that I'm going to make are move my D and F points a little bit to the right. So for that, I'm just going to take this line and 
and move that, we'll say a quarter inch to the right. And I'm going to mark this now in a different color. Let's go with blue. Just so you can see that there is a difference um, with my back piece. From here, we're going to go straight down just to about that same point. And now, um, so last time we went in, now we're going straight down. And then we're going to curve it down just a bit. Now I just need to do the back neckline. For this, I'm just going to make it a little bit more shallow. Okay, so from here, a couple adjustments I want to make are kind of curving this edge out a little bit. Um, it makes it a lot nicer. So for that, I'm just going to take my point D over here, drop this down a half, drop point C down about a half inch, draw a line there. And then I'm just going to take this curve and adjust the curve a little bit. There we go. And you can do this for the back as well. Okay, so we have the front bottom and we have the back bottom. Um, we have our back neckline, our back armhole curve, and the back uh, just extended a little bit to the right. The dart will stay the same. Um, on paper, you'll want to make sure that you true this dart. I should also actually extend it. You'll just want to true this dart, and that means when you uh, pattern this on paper, you'll just want to fold this dart area and then cut along this bottom part to account for any extra fabric that you'll need on this dart. But I believe this is all we need for our front and back bodice pieces.